channel and you guys today what I want to talk about is some amazing um, like BB creams um, and some really nice like tinted moisturizers or skin veil uh, foundations that I really really like and I've been using them a lot now a lot of things have changed about me you guys and that is I'm not into a whole lot of makeup even though you see I have a full face of makeup but if you look at my skin it's very natural it's very it's not like so packed with a whole lot of you know makeup products and I like that these days because I have been very busy you guys as you know I had the injury to my eye and I had so many appointments so many things like places to go, I had to see specialists. I had to go out of town to see specialists. I had so many procedures I had to do. And I'm not gonna get into all of that, but you understand that now that I've been through those things, I just sort of learned or I just sort of realized that I had to, a lot of times just get up, wash my face, get dressed and go. And then when I put on makeup at times, it was very light. It was just like me putting a little makeup on and, you know, and just go. And actually, I really liked the way my skin felt. I felt like my skin was able to breathe better as far as my pores. I felt like my pores wasn't being clogged. I felt like my just, my, when I would touch my face, my face felt better. Um, so because of the experience and me not, you know, like really putting on a lot of heavy makeup, I decided to pick up a few products that I thought would be really nice for me to actually put on and it not feel heavy and it just give me enough coverage and, uh, yeah, I could just easily put these products on and easily get on my way. And so I have five products right here, you guys, that I really, 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 really do want to show you. Some of these, I think there's only two that's new, okay? And the other three is not so new, I don't think. I know that two of them is not new. Um, this third one, it may be new. All I know is for me, they are all new because I haven't tried none of them until now. So they are new to me. And so I would like to share these products with you. Now, the first one that I'm going to talk to you about is the Maybelline Dream BB Fresh 8-in-1 Beauty Balm. This one here, everybody knows about this one. I've seen this a long time. But you know what? A lot of people buy this uh, product, and I know why now. But first, I'm going to state why this product is called or is stated as an 8-in-1 Beauty Balm. It has eight benefits. The first benefit is it blurs imperfections, it enhances, brightens, adjusts the skin tone, smooths, hydrates, help protect with SPF of 30, and it has 0% oils and other heavy ingredients. Now, this is what I think about it. A lot of that is true. A lot of it is true. Now, when I put this on, I don't get a lot of coverage. What I get is light coverage. I don't get medium. I get light coverage. But I get enough coverage that I feel like I look good enough to just go out and run errands, go to the grocery store or whatever. Because sometimes my skin is dull. And sometimes I just need a little something on. So this is like my BB cream that I like to use when my skin is a little dull. And I just want just a little something on just to sort of 
even my skin tone a little bit because my skin is looking a little dull and this helps out with that. Now this is not oily. That's a wonderful thing on me. It's not oily. Um, I do tend to get a little oily around my nose, but that's normal. That's just how I am. But this product right here, you guys, is amazing when you want a light coverage um, BB cream, just something just to cover the skin or to apply to the skin. Uh, maybe because your skin look a little dull or you, you just need a little coverage and maybe you want to just put on a little mascara and go. This is awesome and it's real easy to remove. Um, it's just like you could just absolutely get a dry cloth and it'll come off. That's how easy this product is. And it's just, it, it just feels good. And nothing, it has the SPF of 30 in there. So that's also good. I'm trying to get into products with SPF, um, you know, ingredient or whatnot to help out with my um, skin because that's what we all should be doing uh, now, okay? It's very important. But yeah, you guys, this is very, very nice light coverage BB cream. It's real fast. I absolutely just put this on my fingers, rub it together, and literally just rub it across my face. It smooths out good. It's on. I don't even set this with powder, but I think if you're really, really oily, you might want to set this with a light powder, um, depending on how many hours you may be out doing things or whatnot. For me, I just get oily like around my nose and right here in this area. And so I don't really powder it. It's fine. You know, just it's one of those products that I think we all can actually just put on and don't have to use powder, don't have to put blush on, don't have to put on any eyeshadow if you don't want to, nothing. All you have to do is put on this BB cream if you just need a little something, something on the skin. Now, you might want to put on mascara. You might want to fix your brows, but that's up to you. But, you know, I'm just saying this is quick, easy, fast, and it's light coverage, though. Light coverage. It's not going to cover every single thing, but it will give you somewhat of an even base on the face. Okay, so... I like that. That's very good. The next one is so far one of the best, okay? And when I say one of the best, I mean one of the best. And this is the L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream. Y'all, I love this. I put this on and this BB Cream, what makes this so spectacular is that this one has four benefits and that is that it primes, corrects, hydrates, and perfects. So this one right here, you guys, you can use on your face, of course, and you can put on a full face of makeup. That means fix your brows, put on some eyeshadow, eyeliner, blush, bronzer, lipstick, and you will look wonderful. You can even add some powder on top if you want to. I didn't. I just used bronzer and y'all, I looked amazing. I had a, a beautiful face of glam or a glam face of makeup, whichever way you want to put it. My face looked amazing yesterday and I highly recommend this if you're looking for a, a light coverage. Actually, this is medium. Medium to full coverage BB cream uh, that doesn't feel heavy on the skin and you actually want to apply a full face of makeup. I highly recommend this one. This one is beautiful. Y'all, I love it. I never tried it and this is not a brand new product. It's been out for a while. I used to see it all the time and I never tried it because it said BB cream. I was like, that's not going to do anything for me. But y'all, this did a lot for me. So I highly, highly recommend it. Okay. It's beautiful if you want to use something light on your skin, but actually this is medium to full coverage and you want to put on a full face of makeup, but you don't want to 
You don't want your skin to feel like you have a whole lot on. This is really good. Really good. And $7 and some change. That's amazing, okay? So, mm-hmm. Very, very good. Highly recommend that, okay? The next one is the one that I have on right now, and I absolutely love it. Hold on, you guys. This is the one that I have on right now that I absolutely love. This is the NYX uh, Professional Makeup Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil. Oh my God, I love this one. I love these too, but this one is also a favorite. I have it on right now. This one do look and feel like skin. It, it just, I feel like right now I have nothing on my face. But when I look in the mirror, when I look at myself, I go, mm-hmm, this has been covered, that's been covered. You know what I'm saying? I know I have something on. And so this is very nice also if you want to put a full face of makeup on and it look nice and that it doesn't feel heavy. The difference between the L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifier BB uh, cream and this here, the skin uh, veil or the tinted skin veil here by NYX is that to me, in my opinion, I get more oilier with this NYX Bear With Me, okay? With the L'Oreal Beautifier BB Cream, I don't get as oily. So I would say if you have oily skin, go with the L'Oreal Magic Beautifier BB Cream. And if you're dry or have normal skin, go with the NYX Bear With Me um, Tinted Skin Veil. So that's the difference between the two, but I like them both. I'm gonna use both of them regardless. They are so amazing and you can put a full face of makeup on and look fabulous. I'm gonna state the seven main benefits of this NYX Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil. The first one is it provides fresh face look, and it does look at my face. It's been on probably for five hours now, I think, yeah, since 12 today. So it's like six hours now. Okay, so it provides fresh face look, evens out skin tone, provides seamless coverage, Breathable, weightless formula. Skin looks luminous. As you can see, my skin looks so luminous and healthy. I love it. And this does not streak and it provides up to eight hour wear. So I'm at the six hour zone. So look at this. Pretty, right? Love it. Okay, so now the next product is the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation. It has a broad spectrum of 50, and it's an antioxidant concentrated serum. I love this. Um, I consider this one more like a lotion. It is a serum, but it, it feels like a lotion type of foundation. So it can be oily. It doesn't take much of this, okay? Just a little bit goes a long way. So this will last a long time. It's like, what, 10? Was it one point? It's one fluid ounce, I think. I think it's not 10 fluid ounces. 10 fluid ounces, I believe, you guys or 1.0 fluid ounces, okay? <laughs> uh, so this right here will last you a long time. It only takes just a dab or two, and you can do at least half of your face and maybe one extra little dab. I think three dabs of this product, and when I say a dab, I mean very little, and just spread it across the face, you have your face covered very well. It doesn't take much. I did demonstrate this product in a video and you saw how much I put on. It doesn't take a lot. This is so pretty and it really like gives you this healthy, like beautiful 
skin finish. It's just gorgeous. All of these does that. The only one that doesn't give me that finish like real like silky finish is the Maybelline Dream BB uh, Fresh 8 in 1 Beauty Balm. That one's just this pure balm, okay? It's a beauty balm. But the L'Oreal Magic Beautifier BB and the NYX Bear With Me uh, Tinted Skin Veil and even this one here, this... Uh, Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation by L'Oreal. All of these give you this beautiful, silky, um, just healthy finish. And I love it, okay? Love it. My skin just looks so beautiful, you guys. And this feels really good on my skin. Let's see. I don't have much information on this one here. So this is one of the products that, you know, I will come back in time maybe with some more information. But you get the idea of why I consider these my favorite foundations or really not foundations, but like uh, tinted skin veils and BB creams and found serum foundations and uh, a beauty balm, okay? BBs, creams, because I just absolutely love them. They just, they just beat foundations right now. I'm not into foundations anymore. Now, I have one more here that I have not tried, and I cannot wait to try this one. Hopefully, I, I, I might try it tomorrow to see just how well this looks on me because I've tried all the rest. But this one here is the Neutrogena Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. It says healthy skin. Uh, it has a sunscreen broad spectrum of 30. It has antioxidant A, C, and E. Okay, that is enough said. Yeah, antioxidant and then vitamin A, C, and E, those are really good for your skin. Just and my skin too. So it says this is a lightweight tinted moisturizer that provides uh, the perfect sun protecting veil and condition skin let's see for a natural radiant looking finish it's formulated with broad spectrum of 30 and it has vitamin a c and e so i'm excited to try this now it has um the spf and it says it's uh radiant i hope it's not too oily that's what i'm Hoping that it, this one will not be because I don't want it to look real oily. I just want to have that little natural light glow. That's what I want more than anything. If I get a little oily up in here, it's normal because I'm a little oily right here. That's normal, but I don't want to be oily all over, okay? I don't want it to look like I've been out running and jogging and, you know, just... You know, I don't want to look like that because I'll have makeup on a little bit and I don't want all of that to like start looking like it's dissolving and just separating. So that's very important when it comes down to foundations like this that that claims to be radiant and everything. You have to be careful because a lot of times the makeup, like your eyeshadows, especially blush, bronzer, anything on your face, it can break up and separate because the product is actually just like so oily. It's separating on the skin. I hope this one is not like that. I will try and let you know, but I figured I would get this one because all of them seem to be right in the same category. So to be honest with you guys, that's just what I've been into is like uh, tinted moisturizers, um, serum foundations, uh, tinted skin veils, BB creams. That's what I've been into. Now I'm looking into CC creams. I would like to find me a great CC cream to use. I want to try to get the It Cosmetics CC cream. Um, I've heard a lot about it and I would love to try that one. But yeah, you guys, that is what I've been using and my skin looks amazing. I have had to try y'all like so many different skincare things to get my skin back in order. If any, of, if any of you watched my videos when my eye was like really bad, you know, 
from the injury, you would know how bad my skin was looking. That whole situation really did hurt my skin. And so I had to really get in there and try to find some moisturizers, trying to find out what kind of facial cleansers I need to use. And a lot of those are just simple moisturizers, simple uh, facial cleansers. So don't forget, that's number one, is to always find the best facial cleanser, the best moisturizer. Then you can go in with some BB creams, CC creams, serum foundations, tinted skin veils, whatever, okay? But first, you, we've got to take care of our skin first in order for our skin to look its best. And I have to say, my skin looks amazing. Now, I want to mention one more product that I think is gorgeous, but it's not what I'm, I've been into. But I feel like this particular foundation also, I feel like I could put this foundation in the same range, even though it's not a BB cream, it's not a CC cream, it's not a, a, a skin, what is it, tinted skin veil, it's not a serum foundation, so it's not nothing like what I just talked about. But this is a lovely foundation that I absolutely love that gives a lot of coverage, but it also... It also provides like this beautiful, healthy glow or healthy radiant to the skin. And the name of it is the, or the the product is called Neutrogena Healthy Skin. And I've tried this a few times, you guys, and this is really nice. This is nothing new, but this one is really good when I want that real good cover. Say if I'm going out at night and I want to really glam up, I want to put a, you know, I want a lot of coverage on. I want to look like I have no imperfections, but I do want a healthy glow or nice, little glow to my skin um i would definitely go with this one because this one is absolutely beautiful and it just it goes on the when you put this on the skin it feels nice on the skin like you can tell you're getting some moisture and some vitamins on there you can tell you're putting something good on the skin so but i do know with this one you do need to set this one with powder because let me tell you this one can get really oily especially in the summer if you use this product in the summer i remember using this in the summer i had to put powder on top now if it's like it's cold out you may not need to unless you're super oily but y'all this is really good and it does have amazing coverage and so if I wanted to really just have a full coverage overall, like makeup look, and I just, you know, just absolutely want to look like I don't have any imperfections, this one would be the one I would go for. And once again, this is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup. Really nice. Highly recommend that. But I thought I would share that with you guys and let you know what's up and why or what I've been actually sporting. Not really sporting, but what I've been actually wearing or putting on my face. And I'm getting this beautiful glow and this beautiful coverage. However, I like the fact that certain little things do show. Okay, so when you think about BB creams, CC creams, and tinted moisturizers and things like that, a lot of times you don't think about full coverage. So there might be a few things that stick out like little freckles or maybe a few moles. That's fine with me at this point of my life. It's okay at the age of 44 if a few moles show or say I have one pimple or a few pimples. That's fine with me if it's small pimple. If it's a real large pimple, I can always use a concealer just to dab on there and blend it in. But y'all get my point. I want natural. I want natural makeup with a little uh, bit of a glow or a little bit of luminous on there. Um, and I just, just have a healthy, you know, outcome. That's what I want at the, you know, I don't care if my freckles show a little bit. So 
Y'all, okay. Once again, best coverage would be L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream and the NYX Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil. These have the best coverage if you're looking for a wonderful, hydrating, luminous BB cream or tinted veil. These have the coverage you need and you can have a full face of makeup, okay? Those two I highly, highly recommend. And also, the other one, once again, would be the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup. This has amazing coverage, but it's very hydrating. So if you have dry skin, your skin is going to love this. This product also has some vitamins in it. It has SPF of 20. And I can't read to see. It's so dark, y'all. I don't know what kind of vitamins it has in it, but it's very healthy and it's, it's and you can get full coverage with that one. Now, the next one I would say that will be next to the ones that I showed you that have really good coverage. Actually, this has really good coverage. I don't even know why I didn't put this in. This also has amazing coverage. That means you can build this up to full coverage. Like this can be full coverage, okay? This is the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum foundation yes a lot of coverage little product goes a long way and a lot of coverage with just a little amount of product so this is a serum foundation and it is amazing because it's got some healthy things going in there or healthy things in it that you're going to put on your skin and you're going to love the way your skin feels and the way your skin looks so yeah that is good so yeah and the lightest coverage, once again, Maybelline BB Fresh 8 in 1 Beauty Bomb. This is very light. This is like light coverage. I can't speak for everybody. I'm speaking about my experience, me wearing this. This is very light coverage. This just is something just sort of give me a base, you know, and it doesn't cover a whole lot of things. So this is just a base just to help with my skin when my skin look a little dull you know just something to put on there to cover the little dull skin or the you know just cover that dullness okay that sometimes we all have like we wake up and go wow i didn't get enough sleep i need a base something on my skin this is the one to go for but this is very light coverage so you can actually put this on and go no mascara no nothing unless you want to put on mascara but this is very light okay and yeah you guys so the other one i don't know i haven't tried it this uh uh, Neutrogena Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. I don't know. I have to try this one out and I will very soon. Now, the only other thing I want to talk about, and this is probably going to be my next video over here, and that is this here. Do you see this? Um, I did my brows today. I created this makeup look, which I will be posting very soon. I know I'm talking like right now, but yeah, y'all be done seeing the video by now. But this, I'm going to do a, um, what is it? A brow tutorial. And I don't know if I'm going to do it on this channel or the other channel. But remember, I have two channels. Actually, I have three channels. Um, I have, of course, Sheila Shimei. I have my uh, Shella Beauty Essence channel, and then I have my other channel that is Sheila. Yeah. Yeah, I have three channels. Now, the, the channel that's called Sheila, I'm going to do something very cute. I'm going to do something wonderful with that channel. I'll let y'all know what I'm going to do with that channel. But as far as beauty videos and things like that, it'll it'll be on my channel, Sheila Shimei and Sheila uh, beauty essence. So when I say I'm going to do a video on something, if you don't see the video on this channel, check out my other, uh, channel because that's what I'm going to do. Like I'm going to do things over there on the other channel and I'm going to do things over here on this channel. So just know that I just thought I would let y'all know. So if I say something over here and you go, where is that brow tutorial? I don't even see it is most likely going to be on my other channel, the opposite one. So I'm just saying. But y'all, if you look, I got little bitty lines in there, y'all. Just 
just check it out. I'm going to do a brow tutorial and I absolutely like this look because this is a do that actually came out back in when I was in middle school and in high school. So it goes back to the 90s, okay? And so I love this look and I'm going to say it real quick, but <laughs> back, in, back when I was in middle school and high school, Every, some people, it was a style. A lot of people used to use clippers and they used to actually just cut like little lines into the brows. No lie. And it was a style. And I always wanted to do it, but my mom wouldn't allow me to do it. I'm glad she did, but because I don't know if I would have liked it, but I did. I thought it was really cool, but my mom wouldn't allow me to do it. So this looks like that same sort of deal. It looks like the same thing, except I didn't use clippers, okay? So I'm gonna do a brow tutorial showing y'all how I did my brows. And when I freshly did it, it was so much better, but it's over in the evening. But I'm gonna show y'all this look, and I'm gonna show y'all two ways of how good this can look. But I think it looks good because I just like it. I just, it looks like my brow hairs is a little bit thicker. <laughs> but it looks cool and it looks unique. So I want y'all to check that video out as soon as I make it. So it's going to be a brow tutorial. So look forward to that. And yeah, you guys, I'm going to let y'all go. So you all have a wonderful day or a wonderful evening. And I hope you enjoy my recommendations of beautiful um, what you call light coverage, foundations, serums, BB creams, tinted skin veils. Um, yeah, these, this is my recommendations if you're looking for some um, moisturizing type of foundations or tinted moisturizers and you just don't know which one to pick because I did I just kind of looked at those and I grabbed them and I said I'm going to try this because this is what I want I don't want a lot of thick heavy makeup so yeah I recommend those products for you to try but anyways you guys thank you for watching and I will see y'all my next video bye